It's a tradition of 36 years. The sky at Sherwood Park was plastered with color as dozens of kites took flight. Our Cora Dickey was there and she learned why Kite Day holds such a special place in the hearts of many people. Kites are a sight to see in Sherwood Park. Grand Valley Power hosts Kite Day to offer safety tips about energy and avoiding power lines. Having decades of history behind the event, organizers didn't want this tradition to blow away. We wanted to hit the ground running with Kite Day when we found out we could, with Mesa County Public Health regulations allowing us to, we decided to go 100% and just be a part of the community, bring out our 36 year running free event and it was pretty much a big blessing that we got to do it this year. With a handful of partners and sponsors, everything in Kite Day is free to the public, from the food to the windsurfing toys. Without participation and support from the community, events like Kite Day wouldn't soar as high. Woo! Part of Kite Day's tradition is that it's always held the day before Mother's Day. For kids, it's not only a reason to go outside, but a way to have fun with a special person. I think it is really much of a good Mother's Day activity, especially because um, some moms just want to spend quality time trying to teach your kids how to fly a kite. As the warm weather becomes more constant, organizers hope for summer to bring many opportunities to have a safe and good time. Reporting first on the Western Slope, Cora Dickey, KREX 5 News.